All right, guys, so in this very quick tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create paging views. So essentially, the whole point of this is to create the uh, classic paging view that you would see in something like Snapchat, where you can kind of swipe between different uh, main views. Um, and the way we're going to do this is, so I've done something similar about galleries, and this is actually the official documented way to do it in SwiftUI, according to Apple. So let's go ahead and try that out. I'm going to start by creating a new app. I'm going to call this code tutorial paging views. Okay, I'm going to do that in a new folder. Okay, I'm going to create that. And then in Xcode 12, now you have all this junk that, st that you have at the start. I'm going to get rid of all that. So we have just kind of like bare bones. It's just going to be a text. And it's going to have the letter A inside of it. I'm going to get rid of all these default functions that it comes with. I don't want any of that junk or this. All right, so. Now if we run the canvas, we should just get this A. Um, and so what we need to do is we're just going to start by creating a four. So we're going to start by actually doing creating a tab view. Okay, and inside this tab view, I'm going to create a for loop. So I'm going to say for each loop. So for each, I'll say is from zero. We'll iterate from integer zero to five. And then we'll say I in. So we can refer to the integer as it loops through. We'll say create a text that says just the, um, there we go. It'll just have the integer inside of it. So once this catches up, you'll see what we made so far. It should literally just be, so we have five different tabs, but you can't actually access. Okay, and now to take it a step further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this whole thing in a Z stack, okay, and I'm going to put a black background behind it so you can see the next thing we can ask it to do. So, okay, let's go ahead and make this foreground color white. This is just for the sake of being able to see better. Okay, so you can see foreground color white, and the blue is getting denser and denser, okay. And you'll notice that we actually have this down here, and this is something new. So you can actually click and drag. So you click and drag, and it lets you kind of drag through them. And what I'm going to do also is, if I want to programmatically move between views, let's pretend I don't want to just have to drag. I want to programmatically do it. What I can do is I can say, inside of content view, I'm going to create a new state variable, state var. I'm going to call it selection. And it's going to be an int. It's going to be equal to 0 by default. In our tab view, I'm going to come here and say selection, and we're going to bind it to the selection up there. So right now, nothing has technically changed. The only thing that this now allows us to do is right here underneath the tab view, let's take this tab view, okay? Leave the color black outside of this V stack we're about to create, okay? But put the tab view inside of it. And the reason I'm doing that, I'm going to bring that inside, reindent. I'm going to come here and put a button underneath, okay? And the action is going to be with animation. And inside, I'm going to say selection equals three, three. And we'll come here and we'll say the button itself is just a text that says go to three, okay? Padding, just so we have something to kind of look at. Background, it'll be a color dot white dot padding again. Now we have something a little easier to look at. And you'll see that when this runs, I can actually click here and it programmatically brings us to three. 
all right? So we can programmatically move. We don't actually have to swipe through everything. And you'll even see that update occurring right here, all right? And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's kind of the biggest stuff that I want you guys to see. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment uh, below or shoot me a message. Um, my email is typically in the description. Um, yeah, thank you guys. See you in the next video.